Today's topic, could The Last of Us 2 have been downgraded? Naughty Dog has never really quote unquote downgraded their graphics in the past and I don't think this will be the case for part 2. But if we take a look at these screenshots and compare them to the 2019 release date trailer where we see Joel and Ellie in similar environments, we cannot deny that they do look different. I still do not think that this is a downgrade and I'm gonna explain to you why, so stick around and hear me out. But first, I wanna thank my supporters. To every one of y'all that has liked, commented, and subbed, even shared my videos, I wanna say thank you. Today is a wonderful day thanks to you. Thanks to you, I was able to get a sponsor for today's video. This will help me stay at home for another month and I'm now able to play part 2 on launch. Without further ado, let's get into today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. We did it boys! Use my links in the description to download Raid for yourself on mobile and on PC. Raid is an RPG turn based game where you can assemble a team of champions, make them stronger and fight against all kinds of different bosses and players. <laughs> yeah, boy. You can play Raid on your phone and on your PC. Challenge yourself to the edge in the ongoing tournaments, compete against the entire Raid community while fighting the Spider's Den, Ice Golem's Peak the almighty fire knight or the notorious dragon and now with raid patch 1.15 that's coming this may you'll be able to compete in the brand new arena tournament earn points according to your tier and win awesome rewards in the local and global tournament make sure to head over to the description click on the special links and if you're a new player you'll get 200,000 silver plus one free champion all this spicy treasure will be waiting for you here. You've got over 400 champions in this game. One of my favorites is Gaelic. I mean look at this dude. He looks like he could snap you in half and use your bones as a toothpick. So download Raid with the links in the description. Claim your 200,000 silver and one free champion if you're new. Treasure can be found here. Thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. So why do I think that Joel and Ellie look different here without it being a downgrade? Well, the lighting. How the light is hitting the models basically. Sure, the environments are similar but the lighting looks different. In the release date trailer how the lighting hits the models compared to the screenshots, the trailer has more contrast and like a harsher light in my opinion which generates deeper shadows and makes the faces like have a look of death and pop more compared to the screenshots. In the screenshots the lighting is brighter and with less contrast which makes them look different and not as deep crisp like in the trailer. If I adjust the lighting on the screenshot and increase the contrast they do look a little bit more similar to the trailer in terms of that crisp look with death so to say. Sure, the models still do look a bit different, I'm not gonna deny that. Joel in particular, I'm pretty sure they updated his model and changed his hair maybe a little bit, his hair and beard, and the jacket zipper looks different. But all in all, I don't think this is a quote unquote downgrade. Why? Because we have other screenshots to compare to the trailer. Look at Ellie here. Now look here. Now look at Ellie and Tommy from what seems to be the exact same scene that we see in here from the release date trailer. When she seemingly is in the early stages of planning her revenge and Tommy tries to advise her against it. One thing that's kind of weird also that, you know, Ellie's kind of Tommy's niece. He tries to talk her out of going on revenge, but it feels like, you know, from what we understand, he isn't really trying to stop her physically. I'm gonna assume that she sneaks out some way somehow and escapes without Tommy or Joel noticing, or maybe they're not awake, so to say, since it feels like Joel would try to stop Ellie and Tommy too from physically, you know, going on her rampage quest. But nonetheless, enough rambling about that. We can clearly see here that Ellie's model looks pretty much exactly the same in the trailer and the screenshots since the lighting is similar. Tommy too. One of my epic dick gang members Michael Hunt messaged me mentioning how Ellie and Joel looks different right? He mentioned that what if there's a possibility of time skips in the game and Joel is actually older here and that's why 
his hair and beard look completely different. I'm not gonna deny it, but I don't think that's the case since Ellie looks very similar here and almost younger low-key. But I think that's probably because she's crying. But who knows? Maybe, you know, Joel is aging really quick, so to say. Like, I've heard that some people get gray hair, like, quick, like a lot quicker than others. So maybe it's like a two-year time skip, and that's why Joel looks different and Ellie looks pretty much the same. But, to summarize, I don't think this is a quote-unquote downgrade. Naughty Dog has never really downgraded in the past. I think that why Joel and Ellie look different here is mainly due to the reason that the lighting is different. Since in other screenshots with similar lighting as the trailer, Ellie and Tommy pretty much look the same. I'm not denying that there could be a time skip and that this is a contributing factor to why they look different, especially Joel, but I think it's unlikely. Again, Naughty Dog has never really downgraded. We had a 2019 demo and that shit looked fire. But with that being said, those are my thoughts. Now what about yours? If you do decide to comment, don't read other people's comments and make sure you disable comment replies in your notification settings. Like, share, sub with the bell if you're new. Once again, thank you so much for the support. But with that being said, endure and survive and I'll see you when I see you.